Well, the temperature has finally uh, started dropping to freezing. Can't say I am pleased. I think uh, it is what it is. Maybe I'll get enough snow for uh, skiing, but uh, it's uh, started dropping. So we'll see if this is the new trend, if winter has arrived. Um, Again, the lake is under 50 degrees Fahrenheit now, so it's uh, a little under 10 degrees, I think, or somewhere around 10 degrees. Maybe a bit over. But, uh, yeah, it should be an interesting swim today. It's my first time swimming in with snow. I think that uh, it should... Uh, be more or less the same it's just the experience once I get out of water once you have water on you uh, I guess drying yourself off is more important uh, but uh, hopefully it won't be too bad again the temperature this week is supposed to be hovering around freezing so it's not so bad but uh, Need to start my day a little bit earlier, I think, because uh, there's less and less light now. The other thing that was sort of notable today was the uh, temperature differential between my shit and the environment was enough to cause steam. So I was mentioning goggles before for uh, sticks, for sticks getting in your eyes, but. Uh, Man, it's almost like hail. I spell it's almost... So one good thing about the psychological effect today, a little bit of warm up with the uh, jogging. Um, as I warm up a bit more, just stopping and going until my body's pains uh, ease away. But uh, hopefully I'll have enough internal body temp to sort of ride out. I don't know, 10 minutes in the water today. I'm not going to force myself to stay in for 20 plus minutes because uh, I need to start getting cautious with um, the feelings. I'll go until my feet start feeling really cold, but uh, I don't expect it to be too cold, but it's uh, starting to look a little bit Nordic here with the uh, ice pellets ping off my face. Yeah, so I thought this might be a little more representative of what uh, I'm sort of dealing with today. It's uh, the first continuous sort of winterish weather. It's not that bad though. I'm wearing a sweater though. And uh, uh, as I didn't want to get too chilled before going into the water since my first time uh, with sub 50 so again a little bit to see today I guess yeah, I think I only have 15 minutes so sunset whatever the heck that is today Just cloud Ooh. so I guess I'll jog to the trailhead and back and then uh, take a dip not much actual exercise but uh, Eh, recovery day is not the end of the world. Yeah, definitely uh, more of a city soul carnival type feel today. I actually went into the trail, but uh, I got stuck in the dark. I can feel it. Whew, yeah, it's wonderful air. Like, I think that around freezing air temperature is just uh, so fresh. Ah. <sighs> So that's one thing that I'm going to have to look into is uh, does cold water swimming cause a general increase in your body's temperature? Like, does it promote internal rewarming processes that would be like a fever? Because, uh, I don't know, that steaming shit experience has me wonder if uh, maybe my internal temperature is running hotter due to uh, the cold water immersion. It actually causes like 
thermogenic processes, not necessarily just in the time in the water, but in general, it triggers a uh, change. Either that or maybe I actually do have a fever, but uh, I don't know. Uh, I think that uh, I must be running a little hot. That's not all bad news. I think uh, at this point in my life, uh, having more uh, energy use for, uh, say, fat, uh, for body warming is good as I uh, move to cut my gut a bit. It's not total vanity, but, uh, you know, I got to figure out whether it's a fat or, or cancer. Um, hopefully it's fat. Um, but, yeah. So, because I'm not doing much jogging today, not on camera, actually. If I could jog now, I guess. Um... That maybe I'll try to record the uh, water a bit. Uh, just to give an idea. I don't think I can. Well, maybe if I clear enough memory, I can get a 10 minute recording if it's aligned properly. It will be hard to do a long distance shot. Fake, 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 fake. Um, yeah, what I actually really love is uh, running in the, the chill air. Not like. Or it's not cold that it's actually cold, but it's just like canned oxygen, that type of feeling. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, we probably were built to do like hunting at these temperatures or uh, not be afraid at these temperatures as uh, they're just so comfortable because it's like having a cool towel just dab you and it's just sort of a natural temperature and hot temperature there's a lot more physical stress but it's maybe part of the reason why hunter gatherers around the glaciers was a little more common or native tribes went north for their hunting grounds because uh it's easier to uh well, easier. It's less of a challenge to be in cool weather than hot weather. It also raises the interesting uh, idea of how uh, cultures came about to do netting. Like, I know that there's weirs and whatnot for fish, but uh, you'd think that, you know, the idea of exhaustion hunting would be less common soon as trapping came about so that's all it takes really now i'm feeling toasty got a little bit of sweat working um but uh, yeah i think uh i'm feeling toasty just in this i'm probably actually okay to start uh, acclimatizing myself to uh, go into the water of course jogging shall continue a bit and uh you know, it's the least that i think people should be doing is you know 15 20 minutes of moderate exercise or light exercise uh, nice cold dip there's another fisher so all the boats are out now this is the end of the season y'all is probably about the right time so that raises the uh, benefit of uh, wool again so if you have these temperatures floating around zero, things can get covered in snow and if the temperature goes up a bit or if you're active, it might raise the thermal temperature of your clothing just a degree or two, causing it to get wet. So it's another massive benefit of the wool. It actually uh, keeps some thermal properties. Some uh, other fabrics may not. So I guess that's more of a reason for a headband so you don't feel the ice pelting off your forehead. I'm not sure what these guys are out here. They look like ducks, but they look so small. Um, I'm not sure if it's just a specific type of uh, waterfowl or more of their bodies under the water because the water temperature is more. I really don't know, but uh, they look so tiny out there. I think I'm a bit of a psychosomatic effect right now. It's as if I've already been in the water. It's a physical sensation to a particular body part. I think there's a little bit of a mental element to going into the water when there's snow on the ground. It's like, I think the first time it's just pretty much normal water temperature. Coming out, we'll probably be jogging back for sure. If I can get into the shoes. But uh, 
I don't know, it's a psychological element today. It's not too pressing, but uh, it's definitely my subconscious mind or norm bias saying, what the fuck are you doing? Look, it's snow on the ground. Don't go in the water on the snow on the ground. It's fucking crazy. So it seems there's one lone survivor goose here. Give me plenty of room today. I'm pretty close in, so I must not like the water out there uh, further. Let's see how it goes. Oh, there's another one. So this is definitely something you want to research before actually attempting it. I'm kind of consider it safe until I uh, freak out. I'm forgetting the water. It's actually, the ice pellets on my feet that I'm like, oh, there's snow. I'm gonna step on snow.
<laughs> Finally. Thanks. Einstein today and put socks back on. so bad i think that was fairly short though i think that was only maybe eight minutes but i thought i better pull it safe because i wasn't sure how the exit would be